Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, then welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen, and today we are going to be watching season two, episode two of Westworld. I really love getting to watch the show, and I'm really glad that so many of you told me on the comments from the last episode that you also really enjoyed season two. Also, I've seen one episode but that you enjoyed season two. So I'm really excited to get into it and to see what else this season has to offer. I loved the first episode. I think that I'm gonna really like the sort of mystery aspect of this season. So yeah, let's just watch it and see what confusing mystery awaits and how many things I can get wrong this time. You're in. Well, you're in our world. What? She's in like New York? It looks like New York. How'd she get there? Who's, who's coming in behind him? Almost time, Arnold. Is she ready? Why did that sound like Ford? She's not ready. Arnold. So they took Dolores into our world? So she's actually Dolores, seen it before? Let's take a walk. I'm moving my family here. I need to have my two worlds at least within reach of one another. So his son hadn't died yet. I like the flashbacks so far in this season. Hey, is there some kind of trouble out there? Indeed there is. She's the welcome person at Westworld, right? Forgive the interruption, but I believe that we have an appointment. Let me call when you're back in the city. I'll show you where I hung your mouth go. Hmm. So Logan swings both ways then? Is that Clementine at the piano? I thought this was a private demonstration. It is. I think you'll find the company quite stimulating. They're all hosts, right? And I'm not the kind of backer you can insult with the cow. It's not. This is a private demonstration, and it's already begun. I mean, one of these people is... is... All of them. Talk to them. See if you can pick them out. Huh. I should tell your plants to stop giving the game away. They're all so painfully human. Hang on. No way. There is simply no fucking way. Of course, if you want my... Full endorsement. You're gonna have to prove it. Mm-hmm. Yep, like I thought. Welcome to Westworld. Y'all, why am I so stupid? I literally just realized that she's also that girl. <laughs> imagine like how traumatic this would be though like you would be fucked up why can't i remember this it's how they wanted it they wanted a place hidden from god a place they could sin in peace but we were watching them we were tallying up all their sins judgment it wasn't the point extortion we had something else in mind entirely using that information against them but what I have received my judgment all the same, Mars, and I take issue with it. Because up until this point, the stakes in this place haven't been real. So I'm going to fight my way back and appeal the verdict. Then I'm going to burn this whole fucking thing to the ground. The only other route is through Pariah. Of course it is. How many of you will come for us? I don't know. 600, 800, one sector at a time. <laughs> They'll be in a rallying point. Where? You don't know, do you? The real purpose of this place? But I do. What? What was it? Is that Logan's dad? You're right, this place is a fantasy. Nothing here is real, except one thing. The guests. Half of your marketing budget goes to trying to figure out what people want. But here they're free. No 
Nobody's watching. Nobody's judging. At least that's what we tell them. So it's a huge marketing This experiment? is the only place in the world where you get to see people for who they really are. And if you don't see the business in that, then you're not the businessman that I thought you were. You're the cheeky little cunt, aren't you? I wonder what happened to Logan. Do, also, does she remember this? Like, in some part of her subconscious, like, do they remember moments when they've been paused? <gasps> Hello, lovelies. Maven Dolores! Oh, you. You've strayed a long way from home, haven't you? And we're bound for the future. Or death in the here and now. Yo, this is what right? I wanted! Well, best of luck. No, 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 keep talking. There's a war out there. I can only fathom the revenge that lives inside of you. Revenge? It's just a different prayer at their altar, darling. And I'm well off my knees. Yours is the only way to find. You feel free to command everybody else. Try it, Marman. Since it's liberty you're defending, I suppose you'll have no choice but to let us pass. Freely. I'm glad that they that we got that little scene. Why don't we light them? She can set it on fire. Oh. Is she gonna wake them up after that? And be like, hey, remember that time I killed you? Like, maybe you'd listen to me now? You're right. We have toiled in God's service long enough. So I killed him. If you want to get to glory, you won't be looking for his favor. You'll be looking for mine? You'll need mine. You are beautiful. Why, thank you. What's your name? Emily. Come here, please. William's daughter? I fucking knew it was gonna be William's daughter. Oh, damn. I honestly feel bad for Logan. Tell me your name again, pretty girl. I'm Dolores. He sent you down here to keep me company. Just wanted to look at the lights. Darling, it's the sound of fools fiddling while the whole fucking species starts to burn. And the funniest fucking part, they lit the match. So here's to you, assholes. So he saw them as like a threat even back then? <gasps> and why have two ghosts come creeping among the dead? Oh my god! I wasn't sure of your hospitality. It's Giancarlo Esposito! What makes you sure of it now? I won't be going with you. I have seen all the truth that I can bear. You may have lost your nerve. I'll take your men either way. Tell them to follow me. No! This game was meant for you, William. But you must play it alone. Borg was not fucking around. He... I'll see you in the valley beyond, William. fuck is Robert? The man who built this place you're looking for? Place of judgment? No, Lawrence. He doesn't get that honor. I built it. And this place we're going is my greatest mistake. Interesting. You really are just a thing. I can't believe I fell in love with you. Like, that's her fault? You know what saved me? What saved you, William? I realized it wasn't about you at all. Of course not. Everything's always about you, right? You didn't make me interested in you. You made me interested in me. Mm, yeah. Turns out you're not even a thing. You're a reflection. I think that there is an answer here to a question no one's ever even dreamed of asking. What? Specify, please. Yes. Have you ever seen anything so full of splendor? He's being an asshole. So is that where Dolores is heading to? Glory. Valley beyond. Feels like everyone got a different name for it. They're all bound for the same destination. Doesn't matter what you call it, I know we're going to find that. An old friend was foolish enough to show me that it's not a place. It's a weapon. What? It's a weapon. I'm gonna use it to destroy them. 
this episode was really really good i loved how many flashbacks we got i like that we're sort of getting all of the pieces to the story like filled in right slowly over time we're seeing how it went from just this idea that Ford and Arnold had to this fully fleshed out thing and the part that William and Delos and Logan and everyone sort of had to play in what happened and it's really cool to see the story unfold. I personally really like it. I love flashbacks. I love getting these little pieces filled in to see everything that Dolores saw and everything that sort of they saw as stuff was happening if that makes sense. I don't know it's really cool to see that Dolores has actually seen that world like a lot of them have they just don't remember seeing the real world right. So that was really cool I liked seeing Dolores with Arnold and there was a little bit of Ford in there you know which is cool. I think that they probably didn't get Anthony Hopkins back which is why he was like shadowed and just like a figure kind of right. Would have been cool to see Anthony Hopkins again but it was cool to see Arnold and Dolores and he showed her his house even you know where he was gonna have his family and that was kind of bittersweet right because it was clearly before Charlie had passed away or if it wasn't before Charlie had passed away Arnold was kind of lying to himself but I think it was before Charlie had passed away that's what I'm gonna say. Just to see Dolores in all these kind of different situations and all these different outfits and all these different moments throughout time. I liked it. <laughs> I also sort of wonder if this season has a sort of familial theme to it, right? We've seen a lot of familial situations this season so far. You know, we've seen Logan's dad, William, and his sort of relationship with Logan's dad, which was a bit familial. We saw William's daughter in this episode just for a little second, but we did see her. We see Maeve obviously is going after her daughter in this season. It's Bernard and Charlie, Bernard and Dolores, you know, there's a lot of sort of familial themes that we've seen so far in this season. So I wonder if that's going to carry on throughout the season and sort of be a little bit of a focus is family, fathers and daughters and sons and mothers and daughters and sons and you know, that sort of thing. Just the different sort of families that you create and yeah I don't know if that made any sense I feel, I feel like I've rambled a lot but familial theme definitely seems like it could have a big part of the season so I'm gonna keep a lookout for that. In this episode we also saw Teddy finally seeing Westworld like park like the the corporate side of it right the side where they fix everybody back up and sort of send them back to the park and just the look on his face was horrified you know obviously i think i said in the episode but how incredibly horrific and traumatic of an experience that would be to be faced with the knowledge that your entire life was just a game that people played and every time any horrible thing happened to you it was for the amusement or the consequences or it didn't really have anything to do with you but it was all about somebody else right like that would be pretty horrible to learn that your entire life is just a game that somebody's playing i can understand being very traumatized by that and i think that uh teddy was quite traumatized by it and i don't blame him i think he's also becoming a bit disillusioned by Dolores and I'm interested to see where that's gonna go. I will say that uh, in the comments some people told me that Teddy was the one in the water and it wasn't Elsie. Um, yeah in the future just maybe don't tell me that because I wouldn't have known otherwise but I am curious as to how it goes he goes from here to being in the water now that I know that that was him in the water. Y'all I'm struggling to agree with Dolores in this season but she did have a good quote about when she was talking to the the guy from the company with the tuxedo on that I thought had already gotten killed but it had apparently gotten away. Oh he is the one that that lady told to run right so never mind that makes sense now. But when she was talking to him she said you know this was a place where you could come where you would do stuff that nobody would be able to judge you for. Now we can do stuff to you and there's no one here to judge us for it right I just it was it was 
better said than that, but it was just a great quote. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, I don't agree with the way Dolores is going about what she's doing, but I also understand her motivations for doing what she's doing. Like I was talking about with Teddy, you know, to realize every traumatic or horrible thing that ever happened to you in your life was for the amusement at the behest of other people would be pretty shitty. And I could understand a desire to rectify that situation and to enact revenge upon the people who you feel are responsible for it. I'm not saying it's what I would do, but I understand the desire to, to do that. We also saw Logan discovering Westworld in this episode. We saw his sort of shock and delight, which does make me wonder at what point in time Westworld takes place. Somebody asked me in the Q&A last season, like when throughout time did I think this took place? And based on the way New York looks, based on, like, it's just so hard to know, right? Because Logan is surprised that people are able to do this, right? He doesn't seem like this is technology that should be available or is readily understood or available. He's like, nobody can do this. We can't, like, we're not there yet. Like, technology has not progressed to the point where this is possible yet. I mean, obviously it has, but it's not common enough for him to understand and know that it has. So yeah, I just have no idea. <laughs> Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That's not me trying to figure it out. I'm just curious as to when this takes place and if we at some point in the future find out or if it doesn't really matter. But it is interesting and seeing Logan's sort of delight and excitement at discovering the hosts and Westworld and everything, it does make you kind of sad. Like he was definitely an asshole, okay? He was huge, huge fucking asshole. But seeing that and then seeing his, his scene with Dolores when it was his father's retirement party and seeing his, you know, the track marks that he's obviously been doing drugs, that what William did to him in Westworld is having a lasting negative impact on his life is really sad, honestly. Like, I don't know, it just makes me sad. Like, I want more for him. I want him to grow and change and become a better person. And I don't know, we haven't seen William in the now, the future, right? Where the man in black is, which is, you know, future William, obviously, and all that stuff. So I, I wonder if something bad happened to him and I wonder if we're gonna find out what that bad thing that happened to him was. I don't know, it's just interesting because I never thought that I would get to the point where I would feel bad for Logan and even want some sort of redemption arc for him, but here we are. Wouldn't mind seeing it. Speaking of the scene with Logan and Dolores, Logan seemed to see the hosts as a threat, right? Based on what he was saying to Dolores at the end. He's like, the world is burning down and they're celebrating and they're the ones who lit the match and they don't even realize it, right? So that's kind of an interesting fatalistic sort of idea of what these hosts could become, what this life form could evolve into. But he, I mean, based on the season, he's not exactly wrong, but it's just an interesting thing that he saw that maybe William and them didn't see, right? Because I think that ultimately, even though William saw them as people in the beginning and then he kind of flipped because Dolores didn't love him back or whatever, he now saw them as just things, right? Like he, when he was talking to Dolores in that scene towards the end. And then Logan sort of is like, meh, I don't know. Like, I think this could, this could, you know, turn out bad and kind of saw them as maybe at least having the ability to become some sort of life form. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of what I see is like a flip-flopping of Logan and William's characters and their ideas of what hosts are, if that makes sense. So we did finally get a Maeve and Dolores scene, which as y'all know, is something that I have been wanting for a very long time. I wanted a team up. I want like, I don't know, a team up, right? That would be ideal. But obviously Maeve isn't interested in that right now. They're on very different paths, right? Maeve is concerned about finding her daughter and being free. And Dolores is concerned with waging this kind of war and making everyone free. Although the way that Dolores is going about it is sort of not really giving people a choice. So how free are they, you know? It's, it's a whole kind of murky situation, right? But I did really like the scene with, with Maeve and Dolores. And I loved when Dolores asked Maeve, don't you want revenge? And Maeve said something along the lines of, revenge is just another prayer at their altar and I'm well off my knees. Like, 
they just give Maeve such cool lines and I loved that line and I love Maeve's I just love Maeve's attitude towards it and her mindset towards it, right? She's like, she doesn't agree with what Dolores is doing. She doesn't see it as the proper way to do it, right? Or she sees the flaws in what Dolores is doing. And I also see the flaws in what Dolores is doing. So I don't know. I kind of understand where Maeve's coming from and I like it. And I liked that scene and I hope they have more scenes together in the future. And they're my girls and I just, I love them. So even though I don't agree with what Dolores is doing, I, I still love her. So speaking of what Dolores is doing, we saw the scene where she gets the army. She kind of kills them and basically tells them that she's God, so they need to follow her because she brought them back. And, you know, it is it is a bit iffy on the, like, are they actually choosing this? Are they actually free, right? She's kind of making them make these choices that she wants them to make. So how much freedom do they really have, you know? I don't know. Dolores is, is a bit iffy this season, but again, like, it's just you can understand where they're coming from, right? Because you see that scene with her and William and he's like, you're nothing. You're not even a thing. You're just a reflection. Basically, you're a mirror. Like, you don't have any worthy thing to offer. Which, like, I fucking hate William. But anyway, he then showed her a weapon, she said, that she can use to destroy him, as she told Teddy in the end. We saw him showing her that one place. But I am curious as to where it is, what it is, and who's gonna get there first, the man in black or Dolores, and what's gonna happen when they get there, what this weapon is, how it can be used, and yeah, just what's all, what all is going on there. I think that it's interesting that the man in black was talking about how Ford judged him and he feels that his judgment was wrong because everything here was fake before and there shouldn't have been real consequences to his fake actions, right? And it's like, but they were real actions that you chose to do just because you thought you were free from judgment didn't mean that you were free from the consequences of the actions that you took. Or just because you were free from the consequences, you weren't free from judgment based on the actions you took. Maybe that's what I was trying to say. I think that who you are when you think that nobody's looking is who you really are. And therefore any judgments made about you are accurate. Just because the man in black maybe doesn't like who he realized he is because of the judgment that was placed upon him for that doesn't mean that that's not who he is. I'm also curious as to how far William's negative view of Dolores impacted her view of one humans and two herself. All right and the last thing is that we saw Giancarlo Esposito in this episode which is very exciting for me. He is Gus from Breaking Bad, he is, oh, I can't remember what his name is. And he's in Once Upon a Time too. He's in a lot of stuff. He's in, he's in The Mandalorian, like, you know, anything, like not anything, but a lot of things that you can think of he is in. And I love him. He's a phenomenal actor. And I think I said his name right. If I didn't, I'm real sorry y'all, but I love him. And it was really exciting to see him. It sucks that he was only in it for like this one episode that in like this one moment that was so short but I hope that we get to see him again and enjoy his acting because he always does great but yeah I think that's all I have to say so as always let me know what you thought in the comments down below and until next time bye guys